Hello, I'm Robert Grant, and welcome to LearnMyShot.com. Today we're going to do a technique in photography known as macro photography, which is close-up photography, using extension tubes on your already existing lens and your DSLR camera. So let's get to the set and get started. Today we're shooting a red pepper, which I have cut in half for graphic interest. Our camera is our DSLR with a 17 to 85 millimeter zoom lens, a single clamp lamp on a stand with a 75 watt bulb, and our tissue paper ready to be pulled down in front of that. So I'm going to go in and pull down the paper in front of the light and snap on the light. So now let's adjust our camera. We're going to be using aperture value where we set the f-stop and the camera automatically sets the shutter speed. AV on this particular camera. We set the f-stop, the camera sets the shutter speed. Let's look at the readouts on our display. The lower left hand corner is our battery level which is full. We're using the automatic white balance which neutralizes the color and keeps it correct. This indicates that we're using a large JPEG for our file size. This is our light meter indicator and our meter reading is right in the middle where it should be. We've selected F8 as an f-stop. That's the number of pictures we can take at this file size and the last box indicates that we're shooting one frame at a time and we're not on rapid fire. So at F8, the camera chooses one sixth of a second. We're ready for our first exposure. We're using a 17 to 85 millimeter zoom lens. And at the 17 millimeter end of the lens, this is as close as we can get to the pepper. Now this is how close we can get to our pepper with the 85 millimeter end of the lens, the longest point of the lens. So let's now add some close-up attachments to see how close we can get. We have a 13 millimeter on the left, a 21 millimeter in the middle, and a 31 millimeter on the right. Let's start with the 13 millimeter and see how that affects our image. This is great. The close-up attachment has allowed the lens to get closer to the subject than it naturally would be able to. We've gotten quite a bit closer, but let's try the next tube and see if we get even closer than this. The tubes get attached onto the body of the camera first and then your lens. So let's take off the 13 millimeter and put on the 21 millimeter, which should get us closer than the 13. Let's take a look at that. We were able to move in a bit closer and maintain our focus. Let's shoot one here. Well, we got in a little tighter. Let's try the 31 millimeter and see what that does for us. So we remove the lens from the camera, take the ring off the body of the camera. We're going to take the 31 millimeter mount it to the body of the camera, and then mount the lens onto the ring. The 31 millimeter ring got us in even closer. Let's see what we've got. Well, we got in much closer using our extension tubes, making a more macro graphic shot. Let's try something else. Now let's try putting the 13 millimeter and the 31 millimeter ring together, creating a 44 millimeter ring. Let's put that on the camera. You can see here we're even closer to the pepper with the lens at this point. We're in nice and tight, but let's try one more thing. Now, let's put all three together, making one long close-up attachment. We'll clip the 21 right onto the 13 and 31, 
making one long close-up tube. So let's put that on the camera and see what we get. As you see here, we're right on top of the pepper. We're within an inch or two of the surface of our subject. And here's the final shot. Using all the extension tubes, we've gotten a really great graphic close-up shot. Almost surreal. So try this out yourselves, experiment, and have a lot of fun with it. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video on close-up photography and can see it's just another tool to make your images more interesting. So look for us again at LearnMyShot.com.